Tommy. And I'm Bella. If your cooking skills are stuck in a rut, we're here to help. If your kitchen has seen better days, we'll show you how to fix it. We'll give you recipes, hacks, and the confidence to own your kitchen again. Oh my God. This is Sammy and Bella's Kitchen Rescue. We're on our way to meet Pete Cook. He is a bachelor and he likes to stay healthy, but the most important thing is to teach him some culinary skills to impress the ladies. My name is Peter Cook. I'm 40 years old. I'm an actor by trade and uh, I'm single and uh, live alone. OK, open up. <laughs> Hi, Hi, guys. How are you going? How Come are in. You? Good, good. Mwah, good to thank see you. Thank you for having us. No We're so thank excited. Thank you so much. Cooking for one can be really tricky. It'd be just good to have some skills that stop me from buying takeaway all the time if I want something tasty. So to be able to cook for myself in a way that I know is going to be tasty and fulfilling and eventually get to the point where I feel confident cooking for other people and know that they're going to enjoy it. This is the kitchen. This is where it kind of all... It's pretty big. It's pretty neat. It's pretty... Simple. Yeah. There's a bit of space in this kitchen, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of stuff. Yeah, where's your pantry? Yeah, there's not a lot going on. Um, pantry's just here. Oh, Pete. Pete, 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 Pete. OK, uh, and where's, no, like, where's the, your food, you know, where you keep all your food? Well, I do have um, a banana and oh, a lemon okay. <laughs> as well. <laughs> OK, so that's it. That's all you've got. Yeah, so... that's, that's pretty much it at the moment. What do you eat, Pete? <laughs> You're wasting um, away. Yeah, I am wasting away a little bit. I, um, I eat out a bit um, okay. and uh, I do try and cook at home once or twice a week, maybe. OK. Uh, are you telling a little bit of a porky pie? <laughs> yeah. a, li a little bit, a little bit. I, I tell you what I do do. I make salads. I make salads are kind of my thing. That's kind okay. of what I do. Yeah, can yeah, we yeah. stick a little beak in your fridge? Y yeah, you can. OK. Yeah, yeah absolutely. OK, let's have a little look in the fridge. All right, not a whole lot in there. <laughs> oh, what's... Is that, is that... Are you saving that for later, Pete? <laughs> um, are you saving these two? Yeah, yeah, that, that's my, um, that's my um, late night snack. Um, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm lost for words. I do. <laughs> yeah, I do, I, I do absolutely need your help, which is why you're here. OK, <laughs> look, let's have another little mm -hmm. peek. What else can we find I in this fridge? I don't know, I actually don't know. I just want to shake it up a bit, you know, get out of the boring routine of grilled chicken and, and vegetables and be able to cook a different meal, you know, every night for myself that I can do well and that's healthy. What is this, pills and potions? That's uh, some probiotics, just uh, yeah. good for the gut health. That's not food, you know. No. OK. All right, <laughs> All right so you've got activated arm meal, some bocconcini, a bit of cheese, but it's pretty sparse, mate. I think I'm a little bit worried about what you're eating if this is what's in your fridge. <laughs> Should we have a look in your freezer as well? Like, that can't possibly be any worse, right? Ah, and it is. <laughs> so you got some bread. Great, good. Some frozen bread, just in case I want some toast in the morning. And just a bit of ice, you know, that's... You know, everyone needs some ice. Like God, hang on, Sammy. It's, it's only half filled with ice. OK, oh, gosh. Pete, you clearly need our help. Before we go any further, we need to have a look at your utensils and see what we're actually working with. All right? OK. So, utensil drawer. Oh, this is how we know Pete's cooking for one. There's one, one fork. fork. I, I think there's a couple that are drying. Yeah, show us, mate. Uh, you... From the wash up, I think, I hope. Um, mm. uh, yep, there's another fork here. There's one more fork. So this is your fork, and okay. this is meant to be for how many ladies? <laughs> <laughs> just, just the one. All just, the just one. Just all one, the just ladies one. share one fork. <laughs> um, but and look at this. Oh, but you got plenty of bottle openers though. Like... Well, they're important. You can never have enough bottle openers. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yep. So plenty of bottle openers. All right. I'm pretty sure my camping cooker kit has more utensils than your home <laughs> kit. <laughs> okay. So where do you keep mm -hmm. all your pots and pans? You got some platters there. Yep. I've got some stuff in here. OK, so a couple of your basics. Hang on, hang on. Look at this. It's still got the tag on it. He hasn't even used it. <laughs> well, to be fair, I bought it and then someone said, oh, you can't use a wok on an electric stove. So I wasn't sure about wok kind of etiquette. Um, so now you guys are here, you can maybe uh, guide me through. OK. Hey. <laughs> Pete is in desperate need of a kitchen rescue. We'll teach him some basic healthy meals, work on stocking his pantry and fridge, and, with any luck, leave him with the confidence to cook for someone special. 
Right now, we're taking him to Kitchen Rescue Central for a quick and healthy meal for one. Cooking for one can be a little bit uninspiring, a little bit boring sometimes, and I know that you're very naughty and you've been getting some takeaways. So we've got a solution for you that's quick, it's easy, and it's perfectly portioned for one with no waste. That's right. So we're going to help you make a rice and quinoa salad, and it's a great thing to have for lunch or dinner, and you can actually even take it to work too. Great. So first things first, we're going to get started with the rice and we're using a brown rice and quinoa mix. It's pre-steamed so it's nice and easy and it's perfectly portioned in one container for one person. I'm just going to crack that open a little bit. It goes in the microwave for 40 seconds. Awesome. So Pete, I'm going to get you to zest some lemon for me. Now you can throw that into the bowl and it's a great way to add flavour to a salad really quick and easily. Perfect. And I'll get you to cut that lemon in half for some lemon juice in the salad. OK. Super quick. Thank you. It's going to be the quickest salad anyone's ever made. <laughs> <laughs> no. Lemon juice can go in too. Perfect. Right, rice is in. So we've got some grated carrot. You can actually use any veggies you've got in your fridge already. OK. Put in some chopped nuts. Yum. And we've got some dried cranberries for a little bit of sweetness too. All that needs is a bit of seasoning and a bit of pepper. Now that gets tossed together. All good? Perfectly nice. mixed. Right. So if you're being really lazy, you can eat out of the mixing bowl. <laughs> Let's be nice. Let's pop it into a proper serving bowl. OK. So you can pour it straight in. All right, looks good. Now, the final finishing touch, I've got some feta cubes that have been marinated in oil with garlic and herbs, so it's going to add lots of flavour to the salad. And the great thing about this is because oil can wilt a salad, so if you buy these packs, you can actually just dress it last minute if you take this salad to work. So we're not only using the feta cubes, but the actual oil that's in there as a dressing for the salad. And it's already cut for you, and it's perfectly portioned for one. Now, final thing to add is an egg that we've soft boiled. So, if, Pete, you want to cut that in half and add it to the salad? Sure. It's not, not, not that half, the other way half. This half? Yes. Yeah, what? lengthways. I lengthways. have to eat it with your eyes first. It needs to look pretty. Ah. Yeah, that's the way you cut it. Lovely. <laughs> so we can just top the salad with the egg, a bit of extra protein. And look, this is a great salad, like I said, for lunch. And that beautiful dressing you can actually put on just before you eat it. And the rice and quinoa will soak up all that beautiful flavour. Looks beautiful. If you're anything like Pete and you need to know some basics of cooking, we've got some top tips on how to get fluffy rice every single time. First thing, you actually don't need to wash your rice. If it's good quality rice, it should be perfect. And you should always measure your rice. One part of white rice to one and a half parts of water. Cook on a low simmer. Let it be. Don't stir the rice, leave the lid on. And there you go, the perfect white fluffy rice every time. Here at Kitchen Rescue Central, we're showing Pete a healthy twist on a fast food favourite. Pete, you are such a dude, and I know how much you love dude food, and by the way, I love it as well, but I also know that you want to eat healthy at the same time. So we've come up with the perfect dude food recipe. Awesome. So we're going to be making buffalo wings. Do you like buffalo wings? Love buffalo wings. Yeah? And I have to admit, I sometimes sneak down to the uh, local pub and... <laughs> Ah. <laughs> and have the buffalo wings with the with the blue cheese sauce down there. So this is perfect. Oh, great. Well, now you get to make it yourself at home and awesome. a healthier version. And we are going to be making a blue cheese sauce with yoghurt, so it's a bit healthier again. OK, so the first thing we need to do is cut up our chicken wings. What we want to do is we want to actually cut them at the joints to make them into smaller pieces, which will help them cook evenly. So it's literally, it's just like your own elbow. If you go like this, then you can feel where the soft part is. And yeah. That's where you want to cut through. That's, okay. you can move it around, you can feel where the joint Look. is. Chicken! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have chicken arms, you've got a nice big yeah, burly strong arms. arms. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so chicken wings are going in. Last piece of chicken goes in, and now we're ready to cook at 180 degrees for about 28 minutes. So while that's cooking, I think, Bella, we can get started on that blue cheese sauce. So for the blue cheese sauce, of course, we've got plenty of blue cheese. <laughs> Yum. Looks good. I'm just going to break it up a little bit with a whisk and then adding some natural yoghurt. And the yoghurt's going to give it a nice tang and it's quite a healthy thing to add to. 
and then we just mix it up. Is that difficult or not? <laughs> no, no, I should be okay. You should <laughs> be all right. Yeah, simple enough so. for yeah, Pete. Yeah, simple enough Good. for Pete. Yeah, that looks great. So we just pop it into a little bowl. The thing is, this cheese is so soft and creamy that all you need to do is whisk it together. We don't need to do anything else to it. Awesome. Okay, now, Pete, I think it's your turn. Well, right. We're going to make the hot wing sauce. First thing we're going to add in is some hot sauce and a little bit of butter because it's going to add a lot of flavour. So if you okay. want to get about, what do you reckon, a tablespoon? A tablespoon yeah. should be perfect amount. Now we need to add in a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Sammy, I don't know about that teaspoon. Maybe you should get him to eyeball it because this is part of his training. I don't know. Approximately just... a teaspoon. This is why I'm on this show, to learn how to cook. So. OK. All right, well, why don't you just tipple it in and we want about a teaspoon worth. And gently, carefully, Just please. slowly. OK, OK. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. A little bit more. More, 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 more. Hey! hey. Okay, maybe touch him out. Tiny little bit more. Tiny bit more? Yeah. Oh, you're so delicate, Pete. <laughs> all right, pop that back in here. Now we need to just melt that butter in the microwave and get that sauce all mixed together. Oh, oh good timing. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> so the chicken is ready oh, and right. crispy. Yum. And they look like they've been deep fried, but actually they've been cooked just in the air fryer, which is a lot healthier. While they're hot and crispy, we're going to pop them straight into our hot sauce. Smells good, huh? Smells awesome. <laughs> and now, Pete, check this out. All this fat has actually drained off during cooking. Look at that. Yeah, wow. It's a That's lot. It's a lot of fat, yeah. Yeah. Right, so to finish our hot wings, we need to toss it in our hot sauce and then we're ready to serve. Yum. Do you want to toss? I'll give it a go. All right, toss away. <laughs> Don't get it everywhere now. You've got to, this is where you've got to be gentle. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm still <laughs> learning, remember. Do you reckon your mates would love this? I actually think they would, 100%. Perfect. Well, to serve, mm. we've got something extra healthy, some celery sticks, and they're a really nice way to sort of break up the creaminess and the spiciness of the hot wings to have a bite of this in between each mouthful. OK. And, of course, the blue cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. And you can just have celery sticks with that dip. Mm. That would be delicious Exactly. Mm. OK, so, Pete, can we trust you to serve this up? I don't know. Let's give it a go. OK. We'll see how it turns out. How's that one all right? Oh, yeah, good so yeah. far. Oh, yeah. Right. OK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Perfect plating, Pete. Well, hopefully you think this recipe is really easy for you to do at home. Yeah, I think I'm ready to rock and roll with these, so yeah? look forward to giving it a go, yeah. Speaking of which, let's go eat. Yeah. <laughs> Pete loves his pub food, but he's also health conscious. So we've got a great hack on how he can enjoy his favourite chicken parmi at home, but healthy. A little bit of spray oil, and into the air fryer, some pre-cooked pasta sauce, cheese. Good. Ooh, cheesy goodness. That is a pub favourite, and I think it's going to be Pete's favourite, because it's a healthier version of a parmi. Mm -mm. Now, we're teaching him a delicious and easy date night recipe for two. Your name is Pete Cook, and we think it's a little bit more like Pete can't cook, but don't worry, we're here to the rescue. Great. And we know you're single, you're looking for love, <laughs> and all quality ladies want a man that can cook. So, we've got the perfect recipe for two. It's a date night recipe, and it's a Korean rice bowl. OK, it looks a bit like a bibimbap. It's exactly what it is, but it's kind of a cheap version. We do have a little bit of a trick up our sleeves. I know you can't cook, but I have to say, you can't stuff it up. <laughs> it's really easy. Are you sure? It's pre-steamed. <laughs> yes. All you've got to do is pop it in the microwave, and that's going to form the base of our rice bowl. Great. Now, onto the sauce. This stuff is really special. This is a Korean chilli paste. Now, my pronunciation's really terrible, but it's gochujang. Um, and it's kind of like a fermented red chilli paste, and it's got a lot of flavour. So we're going to put a little bit of the chilli sauce in, and then we've got soy sauce and sesame oil, mm -hmm. and then rice wine and mirin, and a little bit of garlic. And then all of that gets whisked together. Now, I know it looks like we're putting a few sauces in there, but all of these things should be pantry staples. So you're going to have to take a trip to the supermarket, just buy one of everything, and then you'll have the perfect pantry. Great. All right. Easy done. Just whisk it together. Now, we're going to be cooking the salmon in the air fryer. And people can be a little bit scared of cooking salmon because they think, oh, I'm going to overcook it or undercook it. But it makes it really easy in the air fryer. And this time, we're going to be using the non-stick baking tray. So I'm going to pop 
salmon on. Mm -hmm. Spray it with just a little bit of oil. Not too much. Not too much. And season it with salt. Okay. And that goes back into the air fryer. Okay, so that goes in at 180 for eight minutes and that's going to take out all the guesswork of cooking salmon. Normally, cheating is not really acceptable, but in this case, we're going to let you cheat. We're going to be using a pre-steamed rice. All we need to do is tear it open, pop it in the microwave, and it's ready in 90 seconds. Oh, rice is hot and ready. This is a serve for two people, so you can just use half for yourself or you can prepare your lunch for tomorrow as well. Great. Well, you can just have a date. Oh. <laughs> and perfect timing, the salmon's ready too. Look at that, perfectly cooked. Wow. And crispy skin too. And now the fun part, we've got a few sides. We've got some cucumber. Right. And then we've got some shiitake mushrooms, which are dried and we've just reconstituted in water, so they're nice and soft. Kimchi, which is, of course, a Korean classic. You love spicy food, right? I do yeah. love spicy food, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, to finish off, a perfect emoji-style fried egg, <laughs> and that's definitely going to impress the ladies. And then do you want to slice up some spring onions to pop on yeah, it? Yeah, sure, I'd love yeah, to. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> oh, watch the finger. <laughs> OK. Oh, oh. And Careful. hold that finger back. OK, yes. all right, am I ready right. to go now? Yes. OK, good. We're watching you. <laughs> Health and safety. A little all bit right. thinner. You're inviting a lady friend over. You don't want her to be eating chunks of onion. It has to be nice, subtle pieces. OK. You know, I guess All if right. you're both eating onion, it's OK. Yeah. <laughs> it's OK. I think I should be OK. OK. All right, now we've got our delicious sauce. I'm just going to whack some of that on top. Yum. All right, spring onions. Spring onions. Mmm. Perfection. OK, and I'm going to finish with a sprinkling of sesame seeds. Perfect meal, really. We've got the egg, the salmon, the brown rice, which is a natural source of protein too. Yeah, that looks awesome. That's a perfect after-gym meal as yeah. well, I reckon. Yeah. Muscle repair, <laughs> tissue repair, for your big guns. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Something you can replicate for yourself or possibly a lady friend? <laughs> or maybe two lady friends? Two, two lady, lady friends, friends. Over. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. you can have <laughs> us over and cook for us, yeah? Yeah, 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 but you have to give me a bit of practice if I'm going to do that. This hack is about pimping out a boring old burger and Pete's going to love cooking this with his mates on the weekend. It's called Black and Blue and it's a traditional burger from the deep south of America because we're using black and spice mix. And the blue part comes in these fantastic blue cheese slices. Let's get sprinkling and get cooking. Big spoonful of butter, spice side down. Flip it over. Look at how it melts. This Black and Blue burger smells absolutely delicious. <laughs> Yum. Over at Pete's Bachelor Pad, it's time for a serious supply run. The problem with Pete is he just doesn't have much in this kitchen. Pete can't cook because he doesn't have the basics. So we're going to hook him up with some basics in the kitchen. We're going to warm the place up, make it nice and inviting, and we're going to give him a head start on filling the pantry. And it's going to be a space that he wants to spend time in. OK, first things first. No one wants to see all these pills. They want to see food out on the bench. So we're going to put these away and store them underneath. Wood is really going to warm up the look and feel of the kitchen and a beautiful board like this is perfect if you're having a cheese night with a special someone. OK, we're going to put these horrible pill bottles away. Hide them here in the corner. And now we've got these lovely colourful mixing bowls. But they're not just mixing bowls. We've got a mixing bowl, a colander, a sieve and jug and some measuring cups too. So we're filling up his cupboards with cooking equipment that he needs. OK, the final touch is a brand new spice rack and this is going to make it really easy for Pete to add lots of flavour to healthy meals. Lots more presents for Pete so he can cook including this pot. So the wok that he has doesn't work very well on the electric stove, but this pot is going to do the trick. Don't be scared, Pete. <laughs> Hi, Pete. Are we ready to Hello. uncover? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Go. 
All right, welcome to your new oh, kitchen. Oh, awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've got a brand new pot for you that oh, actually awesome. works. Great. We've got a great collection of spices so that you can easily add flavour and a bit of spice to your healthy dishes. Fantastic. And, of course, the air fry. We've got you one as oh, a gift. Of course. Thank you so much. That yep. was awesome. Thank We've you. We've got you one to have all on your own at home so you can cook that dude food but make it a bit healthier. And... All those vitamins you had out? Yeah, where are they? Okay, they're in here. Oh, okay. We don't need to have them out for everyone to see. I think the spices are much better. And you've got a colander and a sieve, a bunch of bowls that you didn't have. Should we check out the fridge? Love to. All right, this come over great. here. So, you didn't really have much in your fridge, but we got you one of the most basic things that we think everyone needs, and that's definitely butter. Right. And you've got these really <laughs> awesome baskets, so you can pull them out really easily and store more things in there, because yep. your challenge is to buy more things for the fridge. Yes. Buy some food, yep. And your cupboards are pretty bare as well, so we went shopping and we bought you some dry good food to keep okay. in your pantry. <laughs> awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> I actually have some food in there. So no excuses, <laughs> Pete. You can actually no. cook a meal out of everything you've got now. Just to invite someone over. Absolutely. And if you want to make a cheese platter, we've got your beautiful big new chopping board so you can do that on. But just promise me you'll put on a bit more than a few crumbs <laughs> of cheese. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Are you excited? I am really excited. I've got some food I can cook with. I've got some yep. spices. I've got some food in the fridge. And are you actually going to go shopping and fill up the fridge with some more fresh ingredients? <laughs> First thing I do after work tomorrow is go shopping. Pinky promise? Perfect. Pinky promise. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> we'll hold you to that. OK, all right. I love what Sammy and Bella have done with the kitchen, and I think it's definitely going to inspire me to get in there and start cooking some proper food. The healthy chicken parma was awesome. That's going to be an easy one to cook, you know, during the week, just knock it out and, and know I've had a, you know, feeling healthy meal. You know, maybe if I uh, do end up meeting someone special, I can uh, get them over and, and cook a really nice dish. I just want to say thank you, Sammy and Bella, and thank you for rescuing my kitchen. <laughs>